Well, the sun is out. We want to get out there and enjoy it, too. But as you may or may not know, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. And now a lot of people are using smartphone apps to diagnose or misdiagnose themselves. It's kind of crazy, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Dermatologist Dr. Janine Downey is joining us today. We're going to talk about exactly that. And I have to admit, I was totally unaware of these apps that we're talking about yeah. to diagnose skin cancer. But what I understand you're going to tell us is, don't do it. They don't work. Exactly. So basically, the University of Pittsburgh looked at a study, and what they found is that three out of four smartphone apps told people that melanomas, actual melanomas on their skin, were nothing to worry about. So they fail in specific specificity, and they fail in sensitivity. Say that ten wow, times. Wow, exactly. specificity. Yeah. <laughs> so how do the apps work? You take a photo of the You're, of the you're spot basically, because now it's beyond entertainment. So you're, look, you're taking a photo of it, and some of them go by algorithm. So they're looking oh. at like a spot on your skin and going by an algorithm, mm -hmm. rather than looking at the actual picture of the skin cancer mm -hmm. or the actual skin cancer on a person by a board certified dermatologist. One of the apps sends it to a board certified dermatologist to look at, but when you look at different skin cancers on the screen, uh -huh. you can see that sometimes it's not the same. I mean, mm -hmm. I've seen blue and pink in different moles. That's not normal. I've seen red in different moles, different shades of brown and black, but you look at the asymmetry of the borders, you know what I'm saying? So you look at yeah. the asymmetry of the right. lesion, the borders being irregular, the color being irregular, and the diameter, it can be small, Which and it can still be a skin cancer. App. It must be frustrating as a board-certified dermatologist to know that there's people out there who might, honestly, you could, you could die right. from right. thinking that your skin, your, your skin is you know, it's fine and it's safe, right. and not going into the doctor to, uh, to right. check it out. And this is why the NIH funded this study for University of Pittsburgh, because they wanted to show people that you really shouldn't be taking your life into your hands. One person dies of melanoma in this country, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, every 57 minutes. Oh wow. God. Okay, so that's very significant. Basal cell carcinomas are 2.8 million. Squamous cell carcinomas are 700,000. Actinic keratoses, the precancerous lesions, 58 million people. Chances are, if you live to the age of 65, JD, especially men, yeah. if you live to the age of 65, you're going to get either a basal cell or a squamous cell over the course of your lifetime. Wow. How do apps like this get on the market? Because the only thing worse than no information is bad, bad information. information. And that seems to be what they're putting out. Yeah, and, and, and what it is is they're evolving. These smartphone um, phones and smartphone tablets are kind of evolving away from entertainment into diagnosis, and that's mm -hmm. a problem. You need to go see a board-certified dermatologist, especially if you already have a history of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't trust my phone to get me to the grocery store. Right. I'm certainly not going to get a cancer <laughs> diagnosis well, from well, it. Well, here's the thing. If you've got to pick up your phone and use an app to figure out if you've got skin cancer, you might just want to go to the doctor. Right. That's, right. A, that's a sign exactly. right there. You know? And then the broad-spectrum protection, the SPF 30. This rubs into every skin tone. Mm -hmm. The Skin Medica product, Daily Physical Defense, the Aveeno, all over the place, saturated in every pharmacy right now. Spray your body head to toe, reapply it every two hours. These are just sun safe tips. Yeah. That's our first like line of defense, sense. then, obviously, yeah. is the sunblock and the yeah. sunscreen. Yeah. For adults and for kids, because we're mm -hmm. seeing melanoma rising in everyone. And basically, the incidence of cancer is decreased in this country, except for some forms of uh, pancreas, obviously, some mm -hmm. forms of lung. Mm -hmm. But melanoma is just on the rise, on the rise, on the rise. You were the first person that told me that we, meaning people who work on camera, right. need to have even more protection because of the lights and that... Uh, I mean, the bottom line is the, the lights can cause different photosensitizing disorders and hyperpigment our skin. And then if your skin is hyperpigmented, it's not as easy to pick up a changed mole as it would be otherwise. So even uh, the strong yeah. lights can lead to improper or bad diagnoses sometimes. So that's yeah. what I meant by that. But, you, you know, we just have to pay attention. You think you're indoors and you're safe? And you're no, not. you got to watch what out. Are the, what are the treatments for skin cancer? Uh, the bottom line is we cut them out. We cut them out. We stitch them up. The scars sometimes not pretty, but the scars are better than actually dying. And Absolutely. that's the bottom yeah. line. Right. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a small, small yeah. price to pay. Right? Good exactly. information. Thank you so much, Dr. Oh, Downey. No apps, people. No. <laughs> Put the phone down. <laughs> no texting and no skin cancer apps.